Hello everyone, today we'll discuss the topic statement conclusion. Now let's begin with the introduction. Now basically what do you mean by conclusion? A conclusion is a fact which can be inferred from a given statement or a paragraph or a passage, right? So basically a paragraph is given to you or a statement is given to you. You have to read that paragraph or the statement or the passage and then see what does the author wants to say. That is what can be inferred from the passage. What do you imply, right? Now, the questions and statement conclusions are basically designed to test a student's ability to interpret a statement. Now, one should focus on being more systematic and logical in answering the questions. Now, basically, uh, the statement conclusion questions are the extension of statement assumption question. There also you have to read the paragraph and understand what does the author or the writer wants to convey, right? And then assume, right? Then mark the assumptions. Now, this is the extension. Here you have to read the paragraph and understand what does the author wants to say? What is the message implied? Okay. Now, format basically, generally a statement is given followed by two or three conclusions. The candidate is required to analyze the given statements, understand the direct or the indirect implications. Sometimes the message is clear in the passage itself, but sometimes it is hidden in the passage. That is indirect implication, right? So the student has to understand it, right? And then mark the answer which logically follows, okay? So this is basically the pattern which is asked and uh, these type of questions are asked in almost all your exams being Meet CAT, MAT, ZAT, FMS, Narsa Mundri, all the exams. Now, this is the, this is an important topic of your critical or logical reasoning. Okay. Now, let's begin with the questions. Now, I have taken some examples. Then, I have taken the MAT questions, Narsa Mundri questions, other examinations and some advanced level questions. Okay. Now, let's begin with some questions. Now, directions. In each question below is given a statement followed by two conclusions numbered 1 and 2. You have to assume everything in the statement to be true and then consider the two conclusions together and decide which of them logically follows beyond a reasonable doubt from the information given in the statement. Give answer A if only conclusion 1 follows, B if only conclusion 2 follows, C if either 1 or 2 follows, D if neither 1 nor 2 follows, and E if both 1 and 2 follow. Question 1. Statement. Triple your money in 5 months. An advertisement. And conclusions are. Conclusion 1. Such advertisements are always fake. Conclusion 2. People want their money to grow. Now let's solve the question. Now here the statement is given. Triple your money in 5 months. Now basically what is the purpose of the advertisement? Right? Purpose of advertisement is that people will read the advertisement and respond to it. That is, advertisement is basically to promote your sales, right? So, here a statement is given, triple your money in five months. The conclusion is, such advertisements are always fake. Is this conclusion valid or implied in the statement? No, right? Why? Because the authenticity of the given statement cannot be deduced from this statement. So, such advertisements are always fake is not a valid conclusion, right? So, this is not, not valid. Correct? Second one is people want their money to grow. Now, just pay attention. Triple your money in five months. People want their money to grow. Is it implied in the statement? Yes. Why? Because it implies that people want their money to grow. Why? Because the advertisement here is to attract the people, right? To attract the attention of the people immediately. That is so that their money can grow in five months. Triple your money in five months. And so that people can be attracted to it. So this means that people want their money to grow quickly, right? Five months. So people will be attracted in such kind of advertisements, right? So that's why. Such kinds of advertisements are made. So, conclusion 2 is valid, right? So, the explanation once again, the authenticity of the statement 1 
cannot be deduced. So, one does not follow, right? Since the advertisement talks of quick returns, like triple your money in five months, it implies that people want their money to grow. As an advertisement always gives comments or features that lines or gives those lines that attracts the attention of the people, right? So, two follows. So, if only conclusion two follows, then we'll mark the answer as option B. Correct?